suppose you are from us and you want to acquire a company and that company is in india which manufactures machines or maybe you want to just acquire the stake of that company hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel net exponent my name is yashika so today in this video i will be talking about a very important topic and that is fdi and fpi so students get confused between these two terms and they use it use it interchangeably but what's the difference between them so we'll be talking about this see every country needs capital it needs money for economic growth and development right so imagine a situation wherein the country you know has used the entire domestic other internal sources but still the capital requirement is not fulfilled it needs more money so now what will a con country do country has two options right the two options are fdi and fpi through which it can uh, fulfill the capital requirement the money needs right so now what are these concepts fdi and fpi fdi stands for foreign direct investment as the name is suggesting foreign direct investment means when see if india needs capital so india can approach some foreign investors right now that foreign investor that investor will uh, invest directly in the business of india so it will maybe purchase its productive assets to जो फॉरनर फॉरन इन्वेस्टर है वो क्या कर रहा है डायरेक्टली इंडिया के बिजनेस को एक्वायर कर रहा है राइट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एस एफ डी आई राइट आपने बहुत न्यूज में सुना होगा एफ डी आई और एफ पी आई के बारे में बट डिफरेंस कभी समझ में नहीं आया तो एफ डी आई का मतलब डायरेक्टली इन्वेस्टमेंट करना जब फॉरन इन्वेस्टर डायरेक्टली इंडिया का बिजनेस एक्वायर कर रहा है उसकी कंट्रोल ले रहा है ठीक है तो उसे बोलेंगे एफ मतलब वो फिजिकल एसेट्स में इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहा है सी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई से जॉइंट वेंचर हुआ मे बी थ्रू मर्जर एंड एक्विजिशन और सब्सिडरी खोली सो ऑल दीज आर एग्जांपल और दीज आर वेज थ्रू विच एफ कम्स इन इंडिया राइट तो ये हुआ आपका एफ इसके अंदर एक और चीज आती है वो ये है कि अब ये जो एफ डी आई है दिस इज फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम राइट विच मीन्स और ये लंबे टाइम के मतलब क्या हुआ कि एफ डी आई तभी माना जाएगा वेन अ फॉरन इन्वेस्टर विल एटलीस्ट इक्वायर टेन परसेंट ऑफ वोटिंग राइट ऑफ दैट फर्म कम से कम दस परसेंट वोटिंग राइट तो उसे एक्वायर करने पड़ेंगे तभी वो बोला जाएगा कि एफ डी आई हुआ राइट सो Talking about what FPI means, FPI stands for Foreign Portfolio Investment. अब इसका क्या मतलब होता है There is a minute difference between them. दोनों में क्या हो रहा है Foreign investment आ रही है बाहर से investment आ रही है India में But the difference between these two are in case of FDI, the uh, there is investment in physical assets. Whereas in case of FPI, there is an investment in financial assets, which means when a foreign investor is purchasing the uh, financial assets of India, maybe by through a uh, buying and selling of stocks or bonds, then it is called as FPI. मतलब जो बाहर का जो इन्वेस्टर है वो इंडिया के जो भी स्टॉक मार्केट जो भी शेयर मार्केट में जो भी शेयर्स लिस्टेड होते हैं उसको बाय और सेल कर रहा है उसके थ्रू इन्वेस्टमेंट कर रहा है इसको बोलते हैं एफ राइट सो बेसिकली इट इन्वॉल्व फाइनेंशियल एसेट्स ठीक है तो ये था आपका मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन एफ डी एंड एफ सो लेट्स लुक एट दी अदर पॉइंट्स अब इससे हो गया होगा क्या सो इंडिया विल गेट मनी and the foreign investor will get the stake or maybe will get the control of that company jo maine aapko starting of example mein bataya tha right so if i am from us and i want to acquire a company in india so this is an example of fdi but if i want just the share of that company then that becomes example of fpi right so let's look at some other uh, differences between them 
So the first difference is in this case uh, it is acquisition of physical asset and in this case it is financial asset. Second, uh, second difference is FDI is for a longer term, right? आपने एक बार किसी कंपनी को acquire कर लिया आप एकदम से छोड़ नहीं सकते, right? This is for a longer period of time, whereas in case of FBI, FPI, it just involves the buy and sell of shares or bonds, so it is for a short period of time. It is just for capital gain, right? कि share के price कब बढ़ेंगे कम होंगे उस हिसाब से you buy and sell shares, so this is for short term period. Third exam, third difference is in case of FDI, there is a low risk involved, which means it is stable. Whereas in case of FPI, just because you know uh, uh, the share market and bond uh, is involved, so it is more of volatile in nature, right? Next uh, difference is in case of FDI, the control remains with the investor investing right it has high control and decision making power because the investor is uh, buying that is uh, acquiring the control of that company whereas in case of fpi the investor is just uh, you know buying the stake buying the share so the decision making or the you can say the management decision making and control uh, is very less right so in case of fdi you can say that the investor is very active he has to take all the decisions he has to participate in the management and all but in case of fpi the investor is very uh, you can say passive right wo ek bar the share ko rakhe wo kab beche kab khide so that depends on him so he is a passive uh, investor right so he can do fdi uh, with the help of joint venture merger acquisition opening a subsidiary so these are all example of FDI and FPI कैसे कर सकते हो यू वुड हैव हर्ड ऑफ अ कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड ए डी आर एंड जी डी आर राइट सो आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ वीडियो ऑन ए डी आर एंड जी डी आर यू कैन जस्ट चेक आउट दैट सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन यू नो हाउ अ फॉरन इन्वेस्टर कैन कम इन इंडिया राइट सो देर आर वेरियस अदर टाइप्स ऑफ types of fdi like horizontal vertical conglomerate so maybe i'll uh, make a video on that uh, so the video will come out soon so i hope the concept is very clear to you what do you mean by fdi what do you mean by fpi and what are the difference between them and because it is very important if you are preparing for any entrance exam right so in case you have any doubts please uh, feel free to ask thank you